What's up everybody, welcome back to Low Luxury, where we are still diving deep, deep, as deep as can be into the archives of Demna Vesalia's Balenciaga. And today, my friends, today, we got the trooper boots. Yeah, we got the trooper boots, okay? And you know what? They are way, way heavier than they have any right to be. These are like the true grail shoes of the season. And who would have expected that from a friggin' rain boot? I don't know what's happening in this world anymore. Take me away, but not before I put on these Balenciaga Trooper boots. We're gonna find out the collection they came from, get a little context, take a close look at all the little details, and then we'll try them on, see how they feel, see how they fit, and we will try to either match or beat that original runway fit. So without further ado, Let's take a look at these troopers. Yo, 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 yo. Before we get too much further, subscribe to the channel. I make tons of luxury and streetwear content. And also, if you're looking for deals on luxury and streetwear, check the description. I've got some of the best sites with all authentic stuff. Check it out. All right, here we are once again at our single source of truth, the Balenciaga Vogue runway page. They have everything here, everything you could ever want. And usually, when I'm looking for pieces, I gotta go like way back. I gotta I gotta click show more to see where pieces came from. That's from how long ago they're from. But these, these Balenciaga Trooper boots are as new as it gets. At least it's released. But they literally just released, okay? Resort 2022, as new as it gets. And we can see right here, this veiled look, very Kim Kardashian, of course. You know, we're, we're kind of in the era of Balenciaga where it's the Kim, Kanye, Julia Fox era. That's what we're living through right now. It's a deep fake of a fashion show, and that's such a great way to describe the trooper boots, and, I, and I'll explain why. So if we dive into the collection itself, it starts off with this veiled look, not much more to say. I mean, it's cool, right? But our very second look, and there they are. There are the troopers. And these things are insane, okay? And it, let me try to explain to you why they are a deep fake of a boot. Because you'd think with a shape like this, they'd be steel toe, leather, or something like that. No, these are entirely TPU rubber, solid rubber. And I, I'll show you later, and I was holding that box. These things are solid. So they're really, in the grand scheme of things, more like a rain boot than a normal kind of formal boot. But that shape is as unlike a normal rain boot as you could ever get. So it's like this weird, deep fried, data moshed version of a boot. And that's what I love about it. I would say that these are kind of an extension, a next step in the evolution of the Rhino Derbies that Balenciaga did, I believe, the season before. You can really see like the tractor sole, the shape at the front of the toes. This one went into a triangle, whereas the Trooper boots are more of a square. But like the overall vibe and shape is still held within this and follows through to the Trooper boot. But this collection, it's really still Demna doing Demna, right? You've got crazy oversized tailoring. He started to leave behind the super structured shoulders and gone much more for like slouch over tailor looks, which I think is working really well for him. A lot of like formless kind of anonymous stuff, right? This is almost like Comme des Garçons vibes, like with the shape and the color, a little bit like Craig Green in there maybe too. But you get some classic military styles, super baggy, flowing, like fluid trousers. Oh man, what shoes are we wearing here? Whoa, I don't even know what these are. I gotta tell you, are they just like leggings? Knowing Demna, they're probably shoes that are like made to look like leggings. Some classic knife boots. We've got more color in here than we usually see, but then we also get like double breasted stuff like this. That's so cool. Look at these raw hems. We also get stuff like this, like they did make an actual trooper boot out of leather. And these are awesome, but they're almost 
a step closer to realistic, and I like how the rubber ones are unrealistic. You can see that Demna really feels that these pair well with the tailored pieces, like this crazy slouch shoulder oversized. I'm guessing this is like a wool, maybe wool cashmere blend double-breasted coat. And then you've got these bad boys poking out the bottom, pulling the entire look together. This was also, I should mention now, it's getting pretty obvious, the uh, Balenciaga half of the Hacker collection with Gucci. So obviously they're taking like the Gucci monogram here and making it their own with the BB monogram. We've also got the continuation of the runner silhouette, which seems to be doing really well for them. But the thing we are most concerned about with here is the trooper boot. So now the real question is, which look will we be picking to try to match or beat later on in this episode? And this look is sick, but I certainly do not have a leather coat, so that one's out of the question, okay? And you know what? I think the one we landed on here is our best bet. This one feels the most like me, in a way. And I also think we're going to have some fun kind of, I don't know, interpreting this, because I certainly don't have all of these pieces or pieces that look exactly like this. So I'm curious to know what I can do with this. But man, this collection is absolutely sick. And so are these boots. Okay, so now that we know where these boots came from, it's time to take a closer look. All right, now we get to the part that y'all really want to see, right? The, the part where we get to actually check these things out. And as you can see, they put these in the, the fancy schmancy box. I've noticed that a lot of the time, their sneakers will come in like the matte gray boxes, but their like boots and more formal shoes and stuff like that will come in these really cool textured gray ones. We've got a big black logo right in the center there, really pops out at every letter. And this box, as far as I can tell, is a square, I think. It's about as square as it gets. Definitely not a rectangle or not an excessive rectangle. I don't know. You know what I mean. At one of the sides, we get this overhanging tag here, which has all the best information. This tag is so important when you're legit checking stuff, too. So this one's got the model number up here. We've got the model name, Trooper Rubber Boot, uh, fabrication, rubber, color, black, size, European 43. We'll be talking about sizing later. And then off to the right, we get a picture. It's a bit grainy, a bit weird, and it also weirdly says for internal use only on it. A lot of the time people think that means it's fake because like, oh, they just took like a weird fo internal use photo and stuck it. No, that's what they actually put on. This is real. And right underneath that, it says where it was made, made in Italy. This is Italian rubber, you guys, okay? All right, enough of the box, right? It's time for the moment of truth. Let's get this lid off and see what we can do here. We got the stock paper, you know, the big reveal. Pull it away, and what do we get? We get a dust bag. Okay, they actually put it inside the dust bag. And that is just one boot, as far as I can tell. So we've got two dust bags. Each boot is in its own bag. Jeez, they are heavy, you guys. And this dust bag, it is that same color gray. Printed on in there is the black Balenciaga logo. That like typeface and the spacing and everything is always consistent. You get some drawstrings up in the top to cinch it shut. And inside, we of course have our boots. So let's open this thing up. Mmm. I love a good unboxing. Wow. It smells like rubber. As soon as I opened that, I was like, that smells like like new new rubber shoe right there. Look at that matte black. That is so nice. The heel is so chonky that it's hard to even get this around it. Come on, you can do it. Look at every single one of those teeth. That is sharp right there. Mm, that shape. Okay, big reveal. Zoom out. Yes, yes. That shape. You look like a little Lord Fauntleroy with that little flip up, but also it's like super hard at the same time. I do not know how they pull that off. So where to even begin here? Oh, I don't know. Let, let's start at the upper, because it's at its thinnest point here, right? You can see it from the top. That's about the thickness right there. We've got a little bit of this in there. And the inside actually has a slightly different texture than the outside. The outside is this matte black rubber, whereas the inside actually almost looks like a woven, like, fabric-y kind of thing. So they are almost lined in a way. 
You can see right inside the lip there, in white, Balenciaga in an outline, Trooper, all the sizing info, Made in Italy, and the art number, all center justified, all caps, all that same size there. Really, really clean. And speaking of clean, the entire mold of this boot is so clean. The, there's only like one mark on this entire thing, which is right down the center, okay? So this right here is where they put the mold together, and it's really subtle. From a distance, you can't even see it. So if that mold line is any thicker or bigger, that would be something to worry about if you're legit checking. You can see it just how squared off that toe is. So it does taper a little bit as you get in here, but then it's just a hard cut. And it is at a slight angle, like straight, I guess, would be like this. But it really straightens off with the curve here. So that's at pretty much, I'd say, a 90 degree angle right with this tooth here. Looking at it from the back, it has such a good shape. There's the other part of that mold line for the back. It goes right down, super centered. And then look at how much that widens out for the heel. And it's just like a boom. It just, you can hear this thing without even hearing it. You can just tell it's going to stomp. Again, all of the cuts at these teeth are so clean. Like these edges, you could cut yourself on these edges, you guys. They're so nice. So if these are like jagged or, I don't know, like textured or anything, that's no good. These should be sharp as nails. Now let's take a look at the bottom here. So it's a really nice tractor sole. Each one of these teeth is absolutely massive. And look at this. You do get these little dots right there. Is there another one right here? And a little something right there. Oh my God, they're nails? Yo, are there nails in these? That's crazy. I wouldn't have expected that. You get a little sticker in gold made in Italy at the bottom. And then embossed there, these letters pop out. You get Balenciaga, of course. You get a nice little curve right here for the heel. And then that really nice tractor teeth shape at the back. And now if we look way inside these, let me see if I can get some light for you. We do get a Balenciaga logo in white at that insole. There's like no insert or anything. Like there's, oh, wait a second. Dude, I was totally wrong. There is an insert in here. Can it come out or is it glued in is the question. That feels very glued in. So there is an insert for some added comfort. And man, I would love to just cut these things in half, like Rose Anvil style. Watch that channel if you haven't. It's really cool. Because now that I see those like nails or whatever they are in there, I want to know so badly what's going on inside these heels. Because remember, they're heavy. Oh my God, they're so heavy. So these are expensive for a rubber boot. I will never, ever deny that. A lot of people may think it's insane, but there's more going on here than meets the eye. That's all I'll say. Now that we've seen all of the details, it is time to try these bad boys on. But remember, let's take a look at what that original runway look was. There's a lot going on here, and there's a lot of adjustments that I'm going to need to make because a lot of these pieces, there are no exact like replacements for. But we do know that this model is wearing like a slightly cropped hoodie. And I have the perfect option for that with this off-white hoodie. It's got the lightest of crops to it, so a shirt should come out underneath. And we can see that this shirt is on the longer side. It comes out quite a bit. So what we're gonna do there is this Balma shirt that has a lot of nice distressing and is long enough that I think it should pop right out the bottom really well. For the pants, I'd say we really had two options we could go with because I do not have like techie and baggy. It's one or the other. And I decided to pick techie, okay? So we've got these crazy like tech pants here. So, but instead of going around the outside of the boot, they are going to go to the inside, which should provide a very different look. We'll see how well we pull it off. Uh, for accessories, we'll do this really sleek black Alix bag, I think that'll go well, and just like a black beanie to pull it off. Let's see what happens. Oh my God, these things are so wild. Uh, this look I actually think works really well. I do think the boots work best if you put some baggy pants so it goes over the edge of them. 
uh, when you wear something that tapers into them, they do look much more like rain boots, but this still totally works. So thanks Demna for the inspiration. But these are, these are some of the craziest things I've ever seen. Uh, wow. Let's talk about the fit. So these are tagged size 33, which generally translates to a U.S. men's size 10. However, these definitely fit big. They fit oversized, okay? So these don't fit like a size 10. I would say these are more like a 10 and a half or 11. That's okay with me because I'm really more of a true to size 10 and a half. But if you're like on the smaller side of a 10, I would definitely encourage you to size down. But what about the feel? Because I was really, really curious about this. Um, does it feel like a rain boot? Yes and no. So definitely heftier than a normal rain boot. From a sole perspective, the weight of each step, they feel much, much more like a typical pair of like, quote unquote, real boots, like leather boots, steel toe boots, things like that. But at the same time, I think they would be totally functional as rain boots. Like they have the right height, the right feel. You could totally be stomping in puddles, walking through a snowstorm. You could totally get away with it in these. And I think the traction would be pretty decent as well. But the bottom line is most people are going to be buying these for the look and for the grail factor. A pair of Balenciaga shoes I don't think has popped off like this in quite some time. So clearly these are striking a chord with people. They're trying to resell them for crazy amounts. And that's the reason why I'm adding these to the archive. It's clear that they resonate with people. So these are something worth preserving and worth holding on to as an important part of Balenciaga history, especially when you consider that lineage with the Rhino Derbies and things like that. You can see Demna's evolution in these, and these things are just another wild step in his footwear journey. So are, are they silly? Yeah, of course they are, but they're also really fucking cool. And I, I like riding that line between silly and cool. That's where I thrive, okay? So I think these are perfect.